Hi, welcome back. Finally I have some progress with the lathe, got the apron and the cross light back together and I'm hopefully close to finish line. This one won't be an actual video because I have to use my camera uh, to document the progress of taking this whole thing apart so I have some reference how to put it back together so some stills but not actual video of me taking it back together and I wouldn't have been able to get pretty good angles anyhow so it would have been just a picture of guy's head tearing up an apron so hope you enjoy So, there was quite a bit more cleaning to do than I anticipated, but I got the, all the controls, they are now working quite smoothly, which is nice, so there was nothing irreversible inside the apron mainly, where most of the problems were, because there was a lot of, a lot of smooth and gunk. As you see, all the oil lines were, were full of it. I had to go them each one of them through individually with a wire and try to get them clean, which I did. Now the oil is flowing, flowing nicely, getting where it needs to be. So I didn't end up changing all the bearings. Uh, the bearings that were, were in the middle line of this apron uh, that would get some splash lubrication, they were all right, but all the bearings on the sides here um, that depended on more on the actual oil lines for lubrication they were they were seized and they were shut and really noisy and uh, not good at all but the ones that were good they were actually pretty good 
so I left them there in order to save a few bucks or euros and well that axle saddle that was not that much work it's that it weighs like a hundred kilos or more so it's difficult to handle but it's it's just cleaned and painted uh, everything is painted cleaned up very good I didn't do any scraping mm, I might end up doing that at some point but first I want to get get this working and make a few chips to see where it actually is uh, the next step is I just I just got the felt so I need to cut up some some felt for the wipers and put them on and I'm gonna need a spacer here because this guy is, is not fitting properly, the bearing needs a little half a millimeter or one millimeter spacer and after that the cross light apron will be complete. I have the last parts for the headstock up here front, some covers and the parts for the brake they are right now soaking in evaporust so they will be the next and then I start working on the motor. So hope you enjoyed this one and thanks for watching.